please like the video. Washington, never given, never given, never, never, never. That was Winston Churchill's famous mantra. Liz Truss, another Tory prime minister trying to lead a battered Britain, couldn't follow that bulldog advice. She wilted faster than the Daily Star head of lettuce gussied up to look like her. She lasted only 44 days before resigning. The storm didn't even have time to gather. The photo of Queen Elizabeth shaking hands with Truss at Balmoral Castle, as Truss took over as head of the government, is epic in its symbolism. Liz squared. The longest reigning monarch meets the shortest serving prime minister. It was such a swift fall that Truss was anointed by a queen and resigned to a king. In years of yore, I would have felt sheepish about a woman self-immolating so quickly. When I covered Geraldine Ferraro's run for the vice presidency and Hillary Clinton's presidential run, it felt as though their fates were tied to gender. If they failed, many women told me in interviews, there was an X through the whole X chromosome, a blot on the female copybook. If not those women then, they would say, what woman ever? Although when Sarah Palin flamed out in 2008, coming across as comically inept, it did not reflect poorly on women in general that was an important step for women. Truss took that step for Britain, many consider the third woman to dwell at number 10 incompetent and hopeless, perhaps the worst PM in history. She was a bad communicator, a poor speaker and weak on camera. She didn't understand that you couldn't simply borrow money from the future. She managed to be a radical ideologue and a lightweight at the same time. Blimey, sounds very Trumpy. But no one believes Truss blew up on the Lonsheppied because she's a woman. She turned out to be a stooge for a reckless, unprincipled Boris Johnson, who was no doubt scheming to see if he could snatch back the reins. Gavin Barwell, the chief of staff for Theresa May when she was prime minister, predicted that Johnson, who's been trying to write a book on Shakespeare for years, would haunt Truss like Banquo's ghost.